Okay, guys. Hey, this is Chris, the Natural Progressive. I am excited to have with me today Dave Denton from Independent Outsider and Deb Della Piano. Piana. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Deb. Um, from her channel, Deb Della Piana. And she is going to talk to us today about a consumer boycott. I'm all about boycotting consumerism. Um, it's just to show that we have the power, but that's going to be happening September 3rd through the 7th. So i I'm really excited to hear more about this, and I know you guys would be interested in this too. So um, take it away, Deb. Tell me okay. about what's going on and, and what are we going to do to take our power back. All right. Well, right now, the only leverage we have with the government is our wallet. Um, and Become Ungovernable has been trying to push the idea of consumers. We've been actually been trying to push the idea of a wildcat strike across the nation since 2016. I've decided that that's way too much for this country to bite off. Um, we can't even get them to stop buying. We have to f try to find ways to get them to stop buying. First, we tried it over Labor Day weekend. That didn't work. So now we're going to try it after Labor Day weekend. After everybody's blown the award over the weekend, they should be pretty much broken, done buying. The goal here is to not purchase anything between September 3rd at midnight and September 7th at midnight. And I mean online, in brick and mortar stores, no Starbucks, you know, no Dunkin' Donuts, no McDonald's, no Wendy's, no Burger King, no going out to dinner. You know, your homebodies, go buy some food, throw some stuff on the grill, buy it before the third, go food shopping before the third. Um, and the idea here is the only way these people hear us is if their profits fall. They, they will be very concerned with that. They could care less about the fact that we're screaming at Jeff Bezos because he's, he's bad to his employees. They don't care, right? As long as you're mm -hmm. buying their products, they don't care what you say about them. And the only way you get that message across is to stop buying. Nobody in this, on this planet, everybody's goal, not the, just the third to the seventh should be to get rid of Jeff Bezos. The guy is the online antichrist, okay? He is, not only has he put thousands of moms and pop, you know, stores out of business, bookstores, you know, he's devastated um, Bonds and Noble. He put a lot of mom and pop books that's completely out of business, but Bonds and Noble is a shadow of what it used to be. He killed Borders. You know, he killed all of these bookstores. And now what's he doing? He's putting stores in malls with his top 100 products in it. There's one going in right at the Natick Mall. So now that he's destroyed the brick and mortar business, he's bringing his own brick and mortar business to you. And all these little slave enclaves they have where you go like to Linfield and you can get ice cream and there's a park for your kids and you can spend all your money while you never have to go anywhere else. We are full of brainwashing, full of it. And the only way these guys get the message is if you stop. He's a bad guy. He's got a $600 million contract with the CIA to store your personal stuff in perpetuity on his cloud. He is now competing for a $10 billion Department of Defense contract. This is not a consumer guy you ought to be buying from at any time. Um, so our goal overall is to shut down Amazon. I, I you know, I, I hate that entity. It's evil. It's like Apple. They both need to go. They don't pay taxes, but we do. I would actually love that. Can I just say really quick? Uh, my channel is mostly about environmental stuff, but Amazon is horrible for the environment. One of the Absolutely. number one contributors to environmental destruction is transportation and right. when you're buying stuff off of amazon it's coming from china and then it's going to all these different places and being shipped out you're you're paying for for that you're not just money but also in 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 eco, ecological costs right it's well, destructive to the vehicle. environment have yeah. you seen his pressure truck <laughs> have you seen that that's an no. 18 wheeler he has an 18 wheeler that's all painted in all colors with the Amazon logo. He's got his top 100 products on and he goes to people's neighborhoods with that. Oh my God. And we should you know, be shopping the, locally. We yeah, should be the shopping treasure locally. truck. That's what they call it. Wow. Um, yeah. So the goal here is, is to, you know, just 
you know, it's, it's hard to get people to strike. So what I'm trying to get people to understand is if you don't go to these places for those four days, those places can't do business and it's effectively a strike. They have to shut down. No McDonald's is going to stay open if they're not selling product. Right. So, so if you go to a local mom and pop show, shop, you know, during the strike period, I is don't have a problem or nothing? Yeah, yeah I, I don't, you know what? I don't have a problem with you buying from mom and pop. I don't have a people, the people need medication. I don't care about that. That's not what we're trying to stop here. What we're trying to stop is people going out. Like I know just before it's school time, time to go out and blow a lot of money. You know what? Let's just take a step back and start having some kind of impact on this government. It's not going to kill you to either do it before or send your kids to school and something. No one's going to goddamn remember they were in at the end of last year, frankly. Um, and let's <laughs> that's true it's seriously you know um so the idea is to have this be a continual rolling thing so once we're done with the seventh everybody gets to go back to spending again until we come to black friday mm -hmm. that's the big push now now we really want to try to impact the holiday season so we're going to do boycott black friday the following monday is cyber monday we'd like to stop to have everybody just shut down that day. I, I can't tell you how many times I go in these stores on Black Friday and see nothing but screaming kids, adults beating each other up over products. I don't get this, you know? I mean, what, what is it? What, I don't know. I stopped buying a long time ago for Christmas, so. Yeah, it's, it's so, I mean, it's not even that they're buying. It's just that they're like literally physically hurting each other over something Material. each other wants, right? Yeah. Um, and the idea here is to just like take a step back and say, you know what? They got you believing that these are the only two days of the entire Christmas season you're going to get these kinds of deals. Guess what? If you can make this shit not sell, you won't believe the deals you'll be getting by the end of the season. All right. But we got to do something. It's got to be done. And ideally it would be great if we could not sell those products and then not go out and buy them at the end of the season. And then we could really make an impact. Um, but right now, aside from, you know, having the human race have the courage to get on the streets, this is the only thing we've got. Right. I really don't, you know. Well, not only uh, the, in terms of Cyber Monday and Black Friday, it is perfect for retail stores to bait and switch. Yep. And for people not to realize that, you know, they're going to have one, one TV that's, that's like a ridiculously low price get you in the store and then sell you stuff. I mean, <laughs> I, if people haven't figured this out yet, <laughs> right. I, I, it's like, it's like the, uh, the Hillary Clinton dinner with Hillary thing. Yeah. <laughs> 2000, 35,000 and 15,000 is like two dollars slots, you know? Right. Right. So, that's the reality. That's what they do. They give you, they get you like, we, we, I work at Ace Hardware. We never have. We, our store never gets what we're supposed to get because we're small. But, <laughs> you know, it, what happens is when, when I was working in retail a, a while ago, we would get like one or two of the cheapest item in. And then the rest of those TVs or the rest of that stuff would be all the higher end stuff. It would be not the cheapest, it might be mid price. But they'd still be making a hell of a lot more money. They'd sell the first two out. And they'd say, I'm sorry, those sold out. And you know what? They don't always have rain checks. That's not true. They try to sell you something right there. Right. You know, right. that's what they're going to do. People yeah. want it then. They're disappointed. They'll buy something else. Absolutely. They also do this trick where they get all that stuff at a discounted price from the vendor. Yep. And then they'll put it out way early, sell most of it before it goes on sale. They play all right. kinds of tricks. I mean, I'm, I'm a a sales rep. So yep. I, I understand what they do. You know, I've seen we get, um, we get light bulbs for a penny. Well, I but know light bulbs are crazy. I've got the, my store, they sell them for 99 cents. I know stores that turn around and sell those things for a penny, get those things for a penny. And I go into another hardware store. If I go into like a, a big store, like a Home Depot, those things will be on sale for seven bucks a piece. They don't need to right. make that kind of money on people. They really don't, you know? Yeah, so, that's why you should buy local, yeah. buy small town. You know, the, some things may be more expensive, but other things make up for it. I find that. Well, in you know, I'll tell you, I was the person who said, I'm never going to cancel my cable. I just did. Um, cancel you know, five I, years ago. I canceled, <laughs> my, I, 
I, I, I watch three channels, okay? And I don't even watch them frequently. I watch the Red Sox because I love the Red Sox whether they win or lose. So I happen to be messing around and I went by YouTube TV. 48 bucks a month, you don't even have a contract. If you don't feel like buying it in June, you just don't buy it. Right. If you want to get it in July, you get it. If you don't feel like getting it again till December, you can buy it. And it's got all the channels I watch. Frankly, I'm probably never going to use it. But for 48 bucks a month, you can put it on six devices in your home. My kid can watch it. You know, and it's totally, you can cancel any time. There's no penalties. So, I mean, there are other ways to mm -hmm. do things. You just have to work at it. And I think that's the big thing. I think it's daunting for the American people to have to try to figure out how they're going to get all their creature comforts in. I not know. Doing the same way, not doing it the same way. But we really do need to start think about do, start think about doing things that way. What? Isn't there a mindset of, you know, I'm, I'm successful because I buy whatever I want to buy and, and, and I don't have to go the cheap route and, you know, buying yeah. something more expensive is why it's your the status money. symbol. It's, right. And I know that. I know that. So, you know, for um, some people it's, it's tied to their self-esteem to be yes. honest. With you. Right. I know people who, you know, who think they, they, they make, maybe they make 150000 a year. They got three kids though, all right? And a house and a mortgage and two cars. But they think they should be able to go out and buy whatever they want because they make, they work hard. Well, great. But you know what? Today, $150,000, to be perfectly honest with you, when I was making $100,000 in 1997, that was a lot of money in 1997. $100,000 right. today, you know, I don't know. I probably couldn't live on that today. So you know? it's a little bit more, it goes a little further here, but you know. <laughs> I mean, if I had, but if it were me today with two kids mm -hmm. right, and a car and paying rent, it, it may not go far. It may not go far. To, you know, it was a lot of money then, you know, and I lost yeah. it. I, I made a lot and I lost a lot, but um, I don't miss it. I can tell you that. I mean, right. I just, I have a whole different mindset than I did back then. When I was in advertising, we thought we were the shit. You know, it was like, you know, you were traveling, you were partying, and then it got old, you know? And I, I don't miss that business at all, so. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, I, I love this. I love this more because of the the aspect of reducing consumerism for one, and then for two, taking our power back. Um, yeah. Which is really, really important to me too, because we're being lied to. Our politicians are being bought off. Yep. We, we've just given all of our power away. It's time to take it back. And um, it may be, you know, the, we're, we're probably living in the end of times right now. Yep. And, and if we're not going to take it back now, when? That's what I right. want. Right. And, and you know, I, I was saying the other day, I've been listening to Chris Hedges forever saying, mm -hmm. We need to be doing this. We need to be out in the streets. We need to be doing continual civil disobedience, blah, blah, blah. I've been listening to him. All of a sudden the other day, I'm reading Paul Street. When I hear Paul Street say, the only thing that's going to save us now is a revolution on the streets. And unfortunately, some people may die in the process. When I hear a guy like that saying that, my ears start standing up. Because when finally someone else other than the same people over and over are starting to say it now. And I, I, I just don't see, honestly, any other way. I, I just, the, the avenues of power that we, we thought, I don't even know if they were actually ever really open, all right? But we, we thought they were. Those avenues are gone now. The nonsense about writing your legislator, signing online petitions. Running for office. <laughs> running for office. Only, you know, I, got an email, I got an email tonight. This is my email when I open my email. The first one, be the first to donate and Elizabeth Warren might call you on the phone. Well, big freaking wool. Who gives a shit whether she calls me on the phone or not? You know, give me a break. It's like <laughs> or, that in awe of our politicians that that's what's going to make us donate because she might call me to say And if she, if she doesn't call you, you'll, you'll get a... Uh, you get a big screen TV at a really, really low price on Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's right, yeah. Exactly. But here's it's here's the thing. It came Oops. out of her den. <laughs> yeah. Step one. Step one. Stop buying glyphosate. Stop buying Roundup. Right. 
yes, please, please. <laughs> for, for all the living things on the planet, please do that. I can't tell you how many times I try to talk people out of that as I check them out. I won't even touch that stuff. I already told my boss, you know what? When that stuff comes into the truck, you have someone else put that shit out. I'm not touching even the container. I'm just not doing it, you know? There, um, were, two, there were two judgments that came out. One was a little less than a, like, one was like a half a billion and one was $2 billion. Okay. okay. With two two cases that just that were just one, I just saw a video on it, and the big the the lawyer who won the two cases is, is saying the biggest thing is trying to convince these people that well I, I use it I spray it all the time it didn't hurt me blah 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 he said I have to get I had to get scientists on my you know on my jury for voir dire because the regular public they they don't get it in their head that it's, it's dangerous stuff. It's and from it's under under time. You know, that's what it is. You know, like somebody who thinks they're going to spray it once, it's going to backsplash on them. And they're going to end up with nine tumors on their head. You know, it doesn't work that way, but no. you work at a landscaping company over a 20 year period and you're exposed to that stuff constantly. I know people who just can't stop putting it on their goddamn lawn. I watch them every day out there, you know? Um, it's and, and and the thing that's scary now is that people now know everybody's heard of glyphosate now everybody knows mm -hmm. everybody knows that there really isn't a gluten problem in america what there is is a glyphosate problem because they kill the wheat so they can harvest it faster that way and yes. that's, what, that's <laughs> what they're going to do with marijuana if they ever get a hold if monsanto was ever given marijuana don't ever buy it from the government i have a guy i can get a fee out of his garage i'm good i don't <laughs> nice yeah, some of the people in California, even though it's legal, they're still doing it under the table because yeah, I won't buy it from the government. I let my I got I had a um a, a card. I had a, a, a legitimate um, medical marijuana card. I let it expire. I, I don't need it. You know, I can go in and I can go into his garage and buy me cartridges, oil cartridges right off the pegs in his garage. I don't have to go to a clinic and pay twice, tw nice. you know, double the cost. But that's the thing, you know, <laughs> you know, weed is made for Monsanto because it's a weed, <laughs> you know, that right. and glyphosate is a marriage, a money marriage made in heaven. You better pray that day never comes. That's, mm. you know, you, you can just see the government handing them that business. It's insane. Uh, yeah, they'll make Roundup Ready marijuana seeds if yeah. they have an opportunity. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like the corn. Yeah. Uh, thing, I'm afraid of corn, so. Yeah. One thing I wanted to bring up was that once once a business goes in business with the government, it's no longer a private enterprise. It's a government enterprise, like what Deb what Deb said with with Amazon. They are basically the information delivery system, not only for the CIA but for the NSA, because the right. NSA is about the information delivery. So they will probably, I don't know the, um, the status of that, of that uh, big uh, contract bid, but that puts Amazon on a whole new level. And right. Monsanto, Monsanto, Monsanto Bear, whoever it is, whether they, but they're on a whole new level because they're right. protected by the government. Right. And you have to, you have to keep this in account. By the way, you know, uh, uh, Facebook and Google, you're telling me that the government isn't involved. Verizon, telecom companies, yeah. pharmaceutical companies. No, oh, yeah. They're all over in our lives. They're yeah, yeah. everywhere. The, um, the, the, thing the water. About, the thing about uh, Amazon on that Department of Defense bill, do you know who they're duking that out with? IBM, Oracle, Microsoft, Microsoft, Oracle, Oracle, yes, IBM. Microsoft, what, the last I heard, it was now down to Microsoft and Amazon. That was oh, the it last is? Okay. That's what I read. That was the last thing I read. You know, they, they were complaining. They were complaining to the government that Amazon has an unfair advantage of all people that are going to complain. I know. Microsoft. I know. <laughs> You've had a monopoly forever. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, come on. But uh, and I'm not going to get too far into 5G, but 
5G is being rammed down our throats. Chris had that conversation. That makes me worried. When mm -hmm. you ram something down our throats that fast, that hard, and tell local governments that they cannot refuse to put up towers, I have a problem with that. That's overreach. You know, but we got to stop that. I mean, that. see, this is what I'm saying. Everybody's got, uh, takes issues with it. I, I keep saying this, you know. Somebody said to me, well, I can't believe the people are not screaming from the rooftops over another 9-11 investigation. I said, whoa. Someone want to ask me what my priorities are right now? 9-11 is not going to be on the top of my list. We don't even know who killed JFK yet. If you think you're going to get the truth about 9-11 out of this government, you can forget it. It's designed to protect all of that. Right. right. <laughs> That's not my big problem. We need to be on the streets for other things, but 9-11 is not one of them. Not right now. Right. You know, we have other big problems here. We have bigger Maybe. problems. Bigger fish to fry, yeah, that's for sure. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, just a sidebar for two seconds. Prote to me, protecting the responders, yes, it is a... Oh, it yeah. Is, it is a priority. However, John Stewart ain't going to do it. Yeah. I'm sorry. You, at that's it's another myth that you know we have to have a celebrity come out and and save our policemen and fire people. Yeah, the, the government we doesn't need to do it care. ourselves. No more elites yes. making exactly people. exactly. No more elites. I don't care who they are. No more elites. Yep, I agree. But, you know, the notion that we need those people—they're parasites. They're not helping us. They got their own little agenda, you know, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it, it 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 never stops, you know. It's it's there's always some kind of hero worship going on that gets in the way of you achieving any real change somewhere on the line. But again, if you want to see instant impact, I'll, I'll tell you what. I really do believe if the American people could have one successful action under their belt, it might change their whole perspective on moving and getting right. something done. If they could just, you know, I said to somebody today, if I could just see somewhere, come. September 9th, a story about how someone's profits fell, then maybe we actually did achieve something over that period of time. If I can just see that. That would make me very happy as well. I'm always yeah. looking for their, the big corporation's profits to fall. So, but I'm, I'm, I would love to see it be in that time frame so I feel like that all of this yeah. prep work would, would be, you know, or if someone could say that, Christmas sales were down or something, anything. If we, if I felt like we were doing the Black Friday thing and the Cyber Monday, we were going to, you know, it shouldn't stop there. We're going to have other times and we're going to stop by and stop by and stop by. If I could feel like at the end we're, we're doing something and maybe we feel like we're getting somewhere, maybe the American people can feel good about doing it and it will make them do more of it. That would be the right. goal. Unfortunately, I, 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 this is a long-term thing. Dad oh, knows yeah, it, I, I know it. But however, if... The first, the first indicator is when Deb starts getting shadow banned or all of a sudden her, her streams start getting booted off of Facebook or, or YouTube or Christine, you know, these, these things start get all of a sudden we have a live stream and all of a sudden it goes dead. I know we made an impact. Right. I know we did because now they're responding. They're right. not going to respond until they feel something because it's not. We do that it. little flurry of stuff that happened just recently. I don't know what that was all about. I got banned twice in a row, but not for a long time. And I, I don't know where that came out of, but I, it was it posted on Israel. I know that, but um, I keep getting booted off my streams. Like do recently. you? Yeah, constantly. But I'm not exactly government friendly either. So yeah, or corporation <laughs> friendly. Of, are any of us really government friendly anymore? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think many of us are, but but I just want to put an exclamation point on the, the part that this not only will will show the the elites, corporations, the government that we have power, but it also is very good for the environment. Um, stopping consuming for a while is very good. Consumerism is a huge driver of of all the environmental destruction between mining, manufacturing, and transportation. So especially um, with Amazon, places like that where they're shipping in tons of goods, Walmart. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's really great for the environment and I am all in 
I am pushing my husband three days. I think I can get him to go along with three days. I have a question for you. Yes. What do you think about these people? I don't know, you know, because I'm riding the fence here too. But honestly, what do you think about the people who think that climate change is a hoax? Oh my God. <laughs> They're a joke to me. I mean, I think that, okay, there's there's the class that, that just think it's 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 a hoax, and then there's the it's class all made that up. Is, I think most people think it's all makeup, right? Yeah, um, I'm. I think I don't know. I mean, most of them. Oh my gosh, there's the ones that believe in the adapt 2030 that there's a grand solar minimum that's going to turn it into a mini ice age. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then there's yeah. the ones that like, eh, eh. You know, I I, I, I hate them. them. It's like they are destructive to to this this um uh, the to the world and, and they're not paying attention to facts there's like maybe five scientists that are probably paid by oil companies that are pushing the grand solar minimum thing and then there's thousands and thousands of scientists doing research papers and you can look them up you can read a new one every day for the next 10 yeah. years right and, and then there's those people and, yeah. and you can see the heating you can look at the real time um statistics the real-time temperatures of the whole planet and you can see but they'll just yeah. okay look at the united states it's you know actually lower on average in temperature right. well you know what i what you know the ones that i think are, are, are truly dangerous are the ones who think that the government's just doing all this stuff now do i think that they're messing around with us i do There's oh no yeah problem. absolutely are you talking about the chemtrail people yeah I, I think yeah but i and and i think i think that they're definitely doing not good stuff, but I don't understand how people can't figure out that you just can't pollute the shit out of this. It's a living organism. It's I know. I mean, the same. I have some of the same people that I know that believe you have to be religious about what you put in your body, right? Mm -hmm. Or you'll it. But they can't adapt that to the earth, the planet, right? They believe that the whole climate change thing is a hoax, but eating right isn't. So I that that is ridiculous. that's a juxtaposition I've not been able to come to grips with. I must Me either. Agree. Now that's, that's wow. That's I mean, I, I haven't known anyone who wasn't, you know, who was really. I know, I know at least two that I've had conversation with. And I, I when they call me, I don't even pick up the phone anymore because I don't want to get into it with them. <laughs> I, 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 I can't make logic. I can't make any logical connection with them. I, I don't understand where, they, where they're coming from. You know, I know people get sick at Love Canal, right? We know that. We know but, Fukushima is a nightmare. Right, so right. we know all that stuff, whether it's plastic or whatever, is can't possibly be good for everything that's going on here. I just don't understand the total deniers. That just amazes me. I, I know every bit of plastic that's ever been produced is still on the planet because it doesn't decompose. Right. It's, it's here, and we keep yep. producing more of it for stupid little kid toys and stuff like that. I honestly, I, I honestly think that people aren't taking responsibility for their own action. And look, I'm, I'm just as guilty as anybody else. I get, you know, uh, I mean, but they, Aimless yeah. deal. <laughs> I, I understand, but people, people have to internally realize we are part of this too. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm guilty we of different to, things for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we have to change our behavior as well. It's not just the evil government and all of that. And part of this, part of the boycott for me is we have plenty of food in our refrigerator now. Okay. And most people let half of it go to waste and throw it away. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Now we just had a tornado and that's a whole different thing. And you know, it's like uh, how much, how much is that good because of power was out, blah, blah, blah. But on a normal day, you know, how much food, how much do you need in, in a refrigerator at one time? And people have tons of food in their fridge and they go out to eat. You don't have to. I don't go that's out. A choice. I mean, very rarely, very right. rarely do I go out to eat. I mean, there's times when you're away from home and you don't really have much of a choice, but generally I cook and I make my husband's meals for the whole week. So he doesn't have to go out to lunch. Right. I, right. I do that. I start, I started my own garden this year. I'm canning now. I'm learning. Right. All that. 
stuff. I'm, I, I just growing your own vegetables. If you can do it, I realize living in an apartment, it's kind of hard, but if you have the ability to grow your own vegetables, just taking that amount of transportation from the goods. Cause most of our fruits and vegetables come from out of the country. Right. So the transport to get them here, just doing that is, is an amazing thing to, to uh, We have a farm that, right across from where I live now in Stoneham that's about to be sold. Oh, my man. husband sold four condos. Why? We try to get them to put community gardens in there. Do you think that they would even budge? Well, that's stupid. What happens when the transportation system goes down and you have no local food? There should oh, well, be yeah, gardens and, everywhere. I know, and, but not only that, this is the worst of it. Right now, the traffic gets backed up from the high school all the way past my house. They're putting the condos right across the street from my house. Can you see the traffic when those, I don't know how long it's going to take them. They haven't even broken ground yet, but I'll probably be gone by then because I'm leaving. I'm trying to get out of Stoneham actually, just to wait for the year. Um, Biden, high density housing here because we, we're in a desert. We don't quite yeah. have enough water for more housing to come in yeah. and they're taking up farmland to build that. So no. Uh, our commissioner actually stood up for that, and I'm really happy. We well, had one commissioner. Yeah, well, well, they decided that instead of community gardens, we can put a nice big fat condo complex over there. So that's they what they make more money on taxes that way. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Damn, Gilbert, we need to get them. We need to get them out of it and do the. It's like lawns, you know. Everybody that runs out to take care of their lawns, lawns. They, you know, I have people that complain to me about. Sparrows being an invasive an invasive species, lawns are invasive. Yes, they weren't. Yeah, they were. I brought, think they should be illegal. I think. Yeah, I, I think I people think should grow. Them. People should be allowed to grow food on their lawn. I, I don't care what anyone said. When we were kids, we had Italian. We were Italian. We grew up in an Italian neighborhood. We all grew food on our lawn. Nobody. We and no one ever bothered us about it. I I just started making garden beds in my lawn. <laughs> yeah. We have a guy next door to us. He's it's got a beautiful lawn, but. He has rows of squash growing nice. across his lawn, you know, so that they, they're butternut too. They're beautiful and they're huge. I sit there and I look at them and I go, wow, you know? That's so cool. Yeah, I got butternut growing yep. and cucumbers and tomatoes yep. and all that. In, yeah, my, would, in my lawn, I have garden beds in my lawn and in, in the back in, on the lawn. So, so in some places, I guess it's illegal to grow food on your yes, lawn. I, they're trying to make it, it illegal because yeah. they want it to look pretty for the curb appeal and to of the housing sales. Yeah, the neighborhood. Yeah, the neighbors might complain. Yeah, that's BS. It's I know, really, it is. It really is. I, I just think we need to start doing things different. I think we need to. I think change on the culture. A whole, yeah, I think we have. A, I think we have a whole culture change to go through here, but I think that's a tougher sell. I think right now the big goal is for us to try to take power back from the government and the only leverage we have right now, barring masses of people on the streets, which I'm, you know, is a long sell, is just not buying. And right. we need to at least uh, start making some kind of an inroad on that, on that count. So. I agree. I agree. And I wholeheartedly support it. And right. I'll be there with you, not buying. Right. September third th through the seventh. Yep. Right after Labor Day, be yep. prepared. Don't buy. Don't That's drive good. if you don't have to. Don't do any of that for three days. Right. So I'm there with you. <laughs> All right. All right. This has been awesome. Any last words before we? Dave, I've been talking enough. It's your turn now. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much well. First, first you you condition yourself uh, not to buy, you know, for for a specific period of time. And while you're doing that, really do a uh, a self examination. It'd be like, okay, what stuff am I buying that I really shouldn't be buying? I mean, there's some things, or at least cut down. Like and look at wants and needs. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Right. I mean, but right. Do we really need it? Or do this, we want it? This right. uh, this is not like a one day thing. This is kind of should be any action like this should be an evolutionary kind of thing yeah. to to cut back on whatever you you're buying. Whether it be you know for me it's like soda and sugar drinks and all of that, and try to find 
find another alternative and and yeah. and <laughs> you know and go water water <laughs> yeah you know you know you know uh, long island water is not the uh, best option for me. <laughs> um and but but seriously and i know also some people are like well if we stop buying then we're going to affect our own jobs. I'm not telling you not to buy anything. I'm telling you to be selective. First right. off, first off, give your give yourself the power back to be like, hey, I can do this for a day or I can do this for two or three days. And then be like, okay, no more Monsanto, no more Amazon, no more this, no more products from here because I don't like. And how many people have I heard you know, talk about Nestle and, and then all of a sudden I see a Nestle product, You're right? you know, so Pure life water, you know what? Screw them. Pure life is them taking water out of the ground and selling it to the people in Flint. You know what? They're another evil entity. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Well, the, the, um, I, and again, I, I, I understand there's, there's a reality too. You know, I, I work for the United States Postal Service and I drink water at work. Guess what they guess what they have in their coolers? It's pure life water. Right. Of course they're gonna do that. So, you know, am I gonna yeah, okay, but am I gonna use it anywhere else? No. Um and if we if if it gets to it, we can say, Hey, look, we don't want Nestle water and our but they're going to buy whatever they're going to buy. So, you know, I mean, how, but I understand you have jobs. I understand you have uh, medical needs. I understand we're not telling you to cut your nose off to spite your face, but what we're telling you, you is that you have the power to buy what you want to buy. I mean, maybe the people ought to be looking at things a little differently. The experts about where we are right now. Yeah. Giving us 10 years tops before this empire falls. No one's going to have a fucking job in 10 years. Right. All right. right. The first part of this collapse is going to be financial. Now I'm hearing rumblings that it could be worse than the depression. If that's the case, we are in for a world of hurt. And I will promise you, if we are not prepared to take charge when that happens, we are going to be on the ground when that happens. Right. Things are going to be so much worse then than they are right now. It will be magnified a million fold. They will be relentless and ruthless with us. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen if that is going to happen because right. the, elites, the elites have it. They yeah, have it all now. I'm saying is, all I'm saying is stop worrying about your freaking job. Just do this. Just do it now. You're not going to affect your job that quickly. But right. you're going to make them scared and you're going to make them nervous. Right. Stop extrapolating this out to the worst possible degree when we're not even close to that yet. So, right. You know, and then we're only protecting our jobs in terms of how much servitude we can give these bastards because actually we're all slaves to them right now. None of us make enough money. None of us. So I'm not worried about losing my job at Ace. And by the way... Yeah. Money is money is a construct anyway. We don't really need. I mean, we need resources. We need food. We need water. We need you know, right. money is a piece. It's a piece of paper right. that's been that's and, been and given. Use for all these people who think they're wonderful because they've got a home. They don't own it. The bank owns your home. Right. As soon as we hit that financial collapse, you'll find that out. <laughs> so. You know, that's the thing. The reality is that all those people lost their homes under Obama. And when you add up that bailout now, do you know how much they estimate that bailout is now? $16 trillion. $16 trillion to bail out the banks and corporations. Okay. They could have just bailed out the people and then the people. banks would, it would trickle up to the banks. They didn't have to bail out the banks. I always heard right. that. That yeah. was just so stupid. It was. Well, that, but see, but that's the thing is, it's stupid for us. For them, it was part of the plan. Yeah, right. so, yeah. It's stupid right. for us to fall for it and let them get right. away with it. Right. 
are we going to do it again for the next collapse? Are, are we going to say, oh, well, those poor bankers. Oh, yeah, they will. It's because it's, it's, it's worse now, I think. Yeah. The, the, I think the politicals, just, they're worse now than they ever were, I think. You know, let's face it, Donald Trump's not any different. He's in a lead, too. He's loaded. Yeah, I know. I don't see any difference, yeah. really. Well, yeah, the, the Except fact for that, he's stupider than hell. The though. fact that we we <laughs> bought that we bought the fact that or the fact that Donald Trump was the Archie Bunker man of the people type, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, that was ama that's amazing. It really is, you know. <laughs> well, honestly, I think, truthfully speaking, we can thank the Democrats for Donald Trump because they're the oh, ones yeah. that actually put oh, him yeah. in place. So, to me. Returning to power with the idiots that brought us him to begin with, that's a no-go for me. They're not getting anything from me. I get it. Yeah. Ah, but guys, this is great. I'm sorry, but I have another stream coming up okay, and no have to out everything um, beforehand. But thank you so much. And I'm really excited about this. Uh, hang on right after we stop recording so we can get the, the, the title and everything down right. Um, and decide when we're going to premiere it. Uh, right. Thank you guys so much for, for joining us for this and really take this into consideration. Remember September 3rd through 7th, consumer boycott. And this is a big deal. We need to get our power back. Um, so thank you, Dave. Thank you, Deb. No I'm glad to be here. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I'm telling you as a labor rep, listen to Deb, okay? I understand people, people are worried or whatever. It, no, you take take your goddamn power, take your power and use your power of choice. That's okay. right. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. Whatever time of day it is when this premieres, talk to okay. you soon.